three amazing startups. So we feel like we're building a really strong foundation to where the future is going. What we're looking to do is to really become the next big wellness lifestyle brand. The demand was huge. One world-class business leader. You're really own to something there with the metaverse and the avatar. A human connection which can change their lives. It's very exciting to, like, to hear the questions that he asked. One decision. This is tough because my wife picked one and I picked another. This is Ventro's Face to Face. Hi, I'm Nora Shagru, the founder of Ventro. I believe that the right connection changes everything. Welcome to Face to Face. Three outstanding startups. Three pitches to renowned CEO of Music World Entertainment and the architect of the careers of Destiny's Child, Beyonce, and Solange. The prize? A connection of a lifetime to entrepreneur, marketing expert, artist manager, motivational speaker, professor, and cancer survivor, the legendary Dr. Matthew Knowles. But who's Matthew going to choose? Hi, I'm Miguel, the co-founder of Mayava. Hi, I'm Lola, the other co-founder of Mayava. Mayava provides online retailers with trial experiences so that customers can try and close, shop with confidence, and make mindful social decisions. For our Beachhead customers, we chose to focus on plus-size brands and women. Only 20% of apparel is made in plus-size, yet 67% of women in the United States wear a size 16 or larger. 65% of our users are in this demographic, which confirms that these women are looking for a solution. We believe that e-commerce needs to evolve to include the shopper, become more personalized, and be a fun experience. The question that, that I had is that the pandemic obviously shifted our business. And where do you see your product fitting in post-pandemic? Definitely the pandemic changed everything. You know. Um, Online sales was increasing by 40%. You know, companies were starting maybe 20% penetration, going up to over 40% penetration of their business. So because of the pandemic, online sales is even more important. Um, and then on top of that, returns have actually doubled, you know, every year, which I think we mentioned in our pitch, uh, that's up to about $218,000. So what we see is that this is a really great opportunity to embrace this new way of shopping that we see is actually not going to go away past post-pandemic. And so how does the product actually work? The big thing about what we're doing is creating basically your digital twin. So really about having the avatar built to your size and dimension so it's in your proportion. And then we actually personalize, personalize it to her complexion and color. So that really helps with color theory and showing the customer the um, how the clothes is gonna look like on her body. So within 3D, all the garments are built into 3D you get those garments and you're actually trying it on on your own digital body. And, and so are you selling this to the consumer or are you selling this to brands? So what we want, we want to help, uh, help brands connect with their cons consumer and have like a better engagement. And they're going to offer our service to their customer. Is this product pr proprietary in any way? What's going to be proprietary is the automation of the avatars and the automation of the of our algorithms for the recommendations. That's where we're kind of taking this to the next level where a lot of the competition only focuses on the measurements. We're taking into consideration like the style, the color, the silhouette. We really want to take this to like this hyper-personalized level of shopping so that we're really customizing everything. And what has been the feedback from retailers? Right now, they're pretty excited. Um, you know, we've have, we have three small brands that signed up with us. We have uh, one large brand that we're, we're hoping to try to pilot with, that we're meeting with. But everyone kind of sees this coming. Everyone's really interested in what's going on with the metaverse and, and you know, what, what's coming up with there. And we will be a strong foundation for that because we will have avatars, you know, that can go into metaverse environments. We will also have the virtual goods of the apparel that can also go into there. So we feel like we're building a really strong foundation to where the future is going. You really own the something there with the metaverse and the avatar. So how do you plan on scaling this? So for our scaling, it's really going to be about automation. And then for our go-to-market, part of the reason we're going after um, the plus size community is 80% of our users are actually in this community. So it really shows that these are the customers most eager to try to um, 
uh, find a solution for what we're doing. So I, I really love what, what you guys are doing. I think you're on to something here. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. There's a food availability problem with late night food on campus. Um, the isolated nature of our campus has led to food availability issues that all the students have experienced in the past especially late at night when college students are often their most hungry. We've identified a total available market of approximately 2,000 plus college campuses with similar food availability issues. Dartmart is unique in that it's a hybrid of a convenience store, a delivery service, and a technology company. We operate as a fully functional convenience store with 100 plus SKUs and growing. So far, we're live on the iOS App Store and Google Play Store. Thank you for listening. And thank you for this opportunity. Hi, Elizabeth. I, I listened to your pitch. I could really relate to it uh, because I actually had that experience myself. College kids get hungry at night. And often these colleges, they don't do a great job of providing for that demand. Um, so I started this app. I kind of had an MVP up and running within a week or so. And we just started doing deliveries the demand was huge and you know fulfilling that demand isn't too difficult because you know our like fulfillment center that we have currently is so small and it's such an easily sort of exportable package um so we're looking towards sort of expanding to other campuses over the next year and seeing if we can grow this business and grow our market. So I, what I wasn't clear, and, and I need you to help me here, is what is your menu? What are your types of things that you're selling to the students? Sure. So what we're selling is sort of like, you know, snacks, chips, energy bars, you know, energy drinks. We sell a selection of kind of frozen goods like ice cream. We sell things on the healthier side like trail mix, basically just like snacks, meals and drinks. And we also sell like everyday essentials like health products, um, that sort of thing. And, and what's your profitability? I think you had said it was 34 percent margin. Yeah. So we have about roughly a 34 percent margin. But what I need to understand to understand the scalability of this company and idea is what type of revenue, you know, is it 34% of a thousand dollars? Is 34% of 10,000? What are you doing? What type of numbers? So in 20 weeks, we've done about $10,000 in sales just on this campus with a thousand users. And I think you said there was a potential 2000 universities. Yes. Give or take. And how do you plan to to scale this to other universities? All of our delivery drivers are students. It's a great job for students because it's flexible hours. It's sort of you can choose when to log on and log off. Um, we're building out an app interface um, for drivers to make that sort of process of doing deliveries a little bit more smooth. So from like sort of a central fulfillment center, Students would choose when they want to like log on to drive and then they can do their deliveries working from that like one central fulfillment center that's managed by the like campus manager. Well, I think you uh, have a great idea. Thank you very much. My name is Taylor Elise Morrison and I'm building Inner Workout, the lifestyle brand for the next generation. Young women are tired of rich, thin celebrities selling them a lifestyle that doesn't seem attainable. They want to see themselves in their brands. And that's why I built Inner Workout. I publicly launched Inner Workout in September of 2019, and we've been bootstrapping ever since with some incredible results. Organizations, including Google, have reached out to us to host corporate workshops. Our self-care Sunday newsletter has over 7,000 subscribers and an above average open rate. We make money by selling tickets to our in-person and our virtual events through the subscription to our online community affiliate sales, and upsells to course and coaching experiences. And finally, through sales of our curated self-care products. Take care. Hi, Taylor. How are you? I'm doing really great. How are you? Well, I'm good. I was just saying before you came on, I was really impressed by your presentation. I don't know if you knew this or not, but I'm a cancer survivor. Um, two and a half years ago, I was diagnosed 
with a very rare form of cancer. But even deeper than that, I'm genetic mutated, uh, which means I have a higher risk of male breast cancer, prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer, um, as well as melanoma. So I am on the soapbox of health and wellness, uh, anyone who will listen. So I, I want to applaud you. Share with me uh, your product. Yeah, so we're really building a lifestyle brand um, and we have a few different products. So we have our community, which is a membership community that people pay $11 a month that has programming and support for people who are really looking to do their own inner work and get to know themselves better. We do in-person and virtual events. I'm based in Chicago. For a long time, everything was really centered around Chicago. And one of the things that the pandemic did is open us up to a global community. And so we have virtual as well as in-person events that people buy tickets to. And then we also have a curated set of physical products that you can buy, um, ranging from a card deck that helps you scroll less. So whenever you wanna scroll on Instagram, you can pull a card from there instead to a blend of essential oils that's designed to help bring you back into balance. And so we're what we're looking to do is to really become the next big wellness lifestyle brand. Our customers are ambitious young women who have gotten themselves pretty far. They are really high achieving. They're there for other people and have managed to achieve a certain amount of success for themselves. And now they're getting to this point where they're realizing this isn't sustainable for me and this isn't sustainable for my communities as well. So that's the archetype that we really speak to is this successful, strong friend archetype. If you've ever heard the saying, check in on your strong friends, we really see ourselves as being the company that is checking in on the strong friends. The in-person events, Tell me more about what they are. Give me an example. Yeah, so a lot of our events recently have been in partnership. So we just did an event in partnership with Lululemon. They have a flagship experiential store that's based in Chicago. And we did an event where we led like a journaling and conversation part of it. Someone else led a sound bath and then Lululemon at that experiential store, they have a restaurant and they provided smoothies for the people. And it was this like after work kind of reset and connection event. Um, so that was a recent one that we did. And how long have you been in business? We publicly launched in September of 2019. So we had about six months in before the pandemic hit. And then we really had to do a lot of pivoting. So I, I really enjoyed this conversation that we're having. Um, you remind me a lot of me in my early years. So thank you so much, Taylor. Oftentimes there's a, a clear person uh, that is a winner. And there's oftentimes a clear person that um, maybe need to go and work harder and, and get more information. That wasn't the case here. All, all three of your presentations had tremendous value and could fill a significant void uh, with your profit offering. And now, you know, Miguel, Loya, Lola, um, I'll just go in order. I, I was really impressed because I know your business. I, I've had to work in it before. Uh, in the apparel market and and knowing that with that plus size one woman and first to identify uh, her uh, most people for, forget that plus size woman and and the challenges and the value but you want to step further uh, with also a stylistic approach as well and then when we talked about metaverse it just kind of changed the whole thing uh, Elizabeth Again, you made it very clear to me when we started talking about rural campuses and colleges and we did quick quick math, um, you are talking about a $20 million business. That's a significant business, right? So I was very, very impressed at the 34% margin uh, that you talked about. That's a significant profit margin. And now turning to you, Taylor, in a workout. You know, when we talk about 
health and wellness. That's 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 my uh, wheelhouse. Health and wellness. I share that I'm a cancer survivor, uh, so um, that that really touched me. And knowing that we look at global wellness, a four trillion dollar industry, and you impressed me on the ways that you are reaching your marketplace. This is tough because my wife picked one and I picked another. And that means I probably won't have dinner tonight. <laughs> I probably won't have dinner tonight because she was pretty ad adamant of her pick. But I, 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 I selected for a reason because I think I can add value because I know the industry. So it's going to be Miguel and Lola. Wow. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All of you, um, Elizabeth and Taylor, did an amazing job. I'm proud to say uh, Miguel, Lola, Lola, you guys uh, did amazing. Um, the scalability of what you're doing in the marketplace is significant. And that played also in my decision. So uh, just wanted to let you all know. And first of all, thank you again. It feels amazing. It feels amazing to just uh, get uh, validation from some from an expert in the industry. Plus, yeah, yeah, man, it's very exciting to like start working with you and um, and like just like grow the business. I think it's a very exciting news for us. <laughs> Well, you know, when I look at Lola and Miguel and I looked at their resumes and their background, um, they are stars. And uh, I've been told that I know how to pick stars. Uh, you know, I picked a few in my, my career, uh, and I think they, they possess that. And, and, and by that, they did the research. I, I love the fact that they have gotten – numbers and information and knew the competition, knew the marketplace, um, knew how to differentiate what they were doing from others. And then when they added the metaverse part, that that just that just took it because I hadn't thought about that. I'm like, oh, yeah. And those things are all a combination of things that, that I'm excited about. You know, when you get older, you can sense someone's spirit. And I, I sense a really, really humble spirit in, with both of you. Thank you. Thank you. It was incredible to be able to meet him and kind of hear from, you know, a true professional, someone who's really at the top of their field. And he gave some great kind of tidbits of advice. And yeah, thank you so much for having me on. I'm very grateful to hear the questions that he asked. I'm already thinking of ways that like I can refine the way that I talk about the business um, and refine some of our marketing materials too. So it was really valuable and gave me some like actionable tactical changes that I can make within the next month. Head over now to myvintro.com. Join us next time on Vintro's Face to Face.